evening, YouTube. You guys end up watching another segment of the Cali Effect. We are back with more information on the Link Summoning Archetype, as well as a couple of uh, different information on other subjects as well. Uh, as you guys can see, it's going to be some very, very, very good news. The first thing is that the, the new weekly jump just came out, and it, this is very, very important and Include, uh, or varying about link summoning as says after you summon them properly uh, assuming a monster special summon from the extra deck when you revive an extra deck monster what monster reborn what zone do you put them on it is confirmed that you special summon the monster into the main monster zone not the extra monster zone now this is huge if you were special summoning a monster from the graveyard um it goes into the regular monster zone instead of using your extra monster zone and i'm assuming it does not need a link uh, for an extra monster to be special summoned to that side of the field that includes link pendulum exceed and fusion monsters um if you target an opponent's monster in the extra zone with mind control, what happens? It goes to your main monster zone. That is exactly what happens. That is another great thing. Possibly in the near future, it will be some cards that move your monsters from the main or from the extra monster zone to the main monster zone. So you can continue to special summon or fusion summon, synchro summon to your side of the field. For the people that do not know exactly what I'm talking about, there is a new Arc, or not a new archetype there's a new mechanic called link summoning that is changing the whole game you guys can check the video either at the end of this video or down below in the description which explains about link summoning uh if you target an opponent's monster okay never mind i've already said that one can you use tokens and trap monsters for a link summon? This is completely huge. The answer is if they meet the material cards, you may use tokens and trap monsters for link material. Not only does that clarify that tokens are probably the most broken thing right now, uh, scapegoat being $15 for secret rare at this very time, which don't worry guys, I have plenty of them and they will drop if you guys want to wait. But if you want to buy them from the Cali Effect, I got them for 10s. I'm not saying anything. I'm just selling scapegoats, okay? Um... This means that you can obviously use Pendulum Monsters for Link Summoning. It also means Trap and Token Monsters are extremely valuable. Paleozoic just might have jumped off the roof in terms of valuability when it comes to Link Summoning. Basically, anything that is considered a monster can be used as a Link Summon, which is awesome. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the new, I want to call it V-Rains because Vrains doesn't sound good off the tongue. But um, the new uh, characters for Yusaku's Aces. And yes, for many people who are worried, yes, there is indeed a female duelist among the announced early cast. Also confirmation of when the show starts airing. V Reigns, I don't want to say Reigns, will start airing May 2017, not April 2017. Yusaku has a Link monster called Ace, or Yusaku has a Link Ace monster called Firewall Dragon. New duelists will appear in the show. O Onuzuka, go the muscular guy to the left. Uh, what muscular guy to the left? Oh, I'm assuming right here in this very, very, very small picture. And Zazen O, oh, the cute but average looking female duelist on the right. Both are confirmed in duel in VR. April 5th, 2017, it will air at 6.25 p.m. called Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, so as you guys can see, oh, well, they're right. She is average looking, like... Yeah, she does not look like anything like Taya. Now, have you guys seen Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of Dimensions? Taya was, ooh. And, like, I'm not that type of guy, but, uh, yeah, Taya, Taya could get it. Um, let me get out of here. But, yeah, the, the guy looks, uh, he's wearing an interesting, uh, dr you know, uh, clothing from what I can see. I really do like that. I like the coffee, man. He, he might, it might be our first Muslim Yu-Gi-Oh! player. You guys think about that. I like that. That's a good idea. But as I escape from this, whatever is going on, since it won't let me do anything, escape. Okay, sure. We'll move on to the next thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Since I'm pretty sure we were finished with it anyways. Uh, the 2017 TCG Summer Product Lineup. Yes. Now we know exactly what we're going to get, when we're going to get. Uh, we're going to click on, why did I click on this picture? Because the exact same thing is going to happen last time. What happened this time? All right. Let me see if I can. Uh, hmm, that's going to be a problem. And now it's not even loading. What is up with my internet? I'm sorry, fellas. I don't know. 
uh, Machine Reactor Dino Masher's Fury Structure Deck. The street date is 4-14-17, which is next month. That's awesome. This new 42-card pre-constructed structure deck includes at least five new cards and a token card. We're assuming that they're the new structure deck cards because we will not be receiving links quite yet. The Machine Reactor deck bends together existing Machine Monster themes, including the Gadget Monsters uh, the classic from Classic Yu-Gi-Oh! and Ancient Gear Monsters from GX. The deck plays well with Movie Pack GE Rate Fusion Monsters and the new set, Spell Card. The new set is uh, M-C-A-M-A-C-R. I completely forget what it's called, but I'm pretty sure somebody in the comment description, uh, comment section will remind me. Dino Masher's Fury is all about the dinosaur monsters, including the new Megalo Masher, Megalo Smasher X. Megalo Smasher X. That's, that's a pretty cool name. Do I have enough battery? Yeah, I do. And Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. The deck plays well with Duelist Saga and the new set. Both have great rank 4 XC monsters that works really well with the strategy. It's $10 per box, like the normal structure decks. And in the configuration is 42 cards per deck, 3 cards per display, 12 cards per case, and 96 tucks per master case. That's pretty awesome. Uh, now, if I can click get out of here, that would be even more awesome. If not, I guess I'll have to like pause the video and then, you know, restart. All right, I completely fixed the problem. Obviously, I guess the back button is a thing because I, I, I thought it was just like, you know, Facebook when the pictures just pop up and th look, don't judge me. All right, so March 10th, you guys have already received the battle packs or, you know, the star pack battle royale. March 17th, we will be receiving the Raging Tempest Special Edition. March 31st, we will be receiving the Duelist Saga, which is on TV hmm. or TV. I don't know what TV means. Hmm. No, I'm pretty sure it's not on TV. Duelist Sagas must be an extra set. Machine Reactor Dino Masher's Fury is the structure deck. Maximum Crisis, that is the name of the new set, uh, is also coming out. And it says TV. Maybe it's a commercial? No, I'm pretty sure those are the release dates. Hmm. And Kamani normally doesn't do commercials for like Duelist Saga sets. So, interesting. I want to see what this Duelist Saga set is. Uh, on May 26th, we get a Dimensional Guardians booster. Man, we have been getting a lot of boosters. I was just like, take my money, right? Uh, and then on June 9th, we get the Maximum Crisis Special Edition. June 34, we get the SP Pendulum Evolution booster, which I might tell you guys is a little too late. And then 2017 Starter Deck, which will include, which I am assuming, the new Link Monsters. So July is when Link Monsters and the Master Rules that the OCG currently has will go into effect. Now, if I press back, I should be able to escape without any problem whatsoever because, like I said, the back button is probably your friend. Um, you know, it was working a lot faster when I uh, when I didn't wasn't when I wasn't recording, so I don't think it's my internet. All right, so the SP Evolution Booster. It's going to be some really awesome cards. Uh, it comes in July twenty first. It is the two thousand seventeen. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not the 2017 starter deck, uh, but this is information on the two. The SP Pendulum Evolution is a booster set. Witness the magnificent and mystifying results of the Pendulum Summoning Final Evolution. Okay, so this is the end of the Pendulum era when this set comes out. Following Maximum Crisis, Pendulum Evolution features powerful new Pendulum monsters that can either stand on their own or in service of the dreaded dragon. The Dominator of Dimensions itself, Supreme King Z Arc. This new 60 card special first edition set includes a mix of ultra rare and super rare cards, compatible with Pendulum monsters you already own, but specifically crafted to take advantage of Maximum Crisis. Includes a pair of super powered sorcerers that are easy to summon to give a faster, easier way to bring out Supreme King Z Arc from Maximum Crisis. It is $3.99 per, per booster. Features several new cards plus dozens of the most popular cards from the Pendulum Era Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc V animated series. The configuration is 5 cards per pack, so it's almost like a hidden arsenal set. 24 packs per display and 12 displays per case. This is exactly like a hidden arsenal set. So far, I think it's been a lot of hidden arsenal quote-unquote sets. We've already had 3, or we've already had 2. We've had too many. Like, this is, I don't know, I feel like Kamani is just dumping product on us. I, I don't know. I feel dirty. I don't, I don't know what you guys feel, but I feel dirty. This is the new 2017 starter deck, which 
I am uh, ultimately assuming this is where we will get our uh, our Link Monsters. Uh, welcome to the new era of dueling, Link Monsters. As we introduce the latest mecha game mechanic, Link Summoning. Contains three Link Monsters to get you familiar with the mechanic before the Core Booster release in early August. So this comes out in late July. We get the Core Booster in early August. Great. We'll have a lot of time to play around with the older cards and the pendulum cards before this stuff comes out and the people that still want to play old Yu-Gi-Oh the the EQ format the equivalence format also to the end of the video or down below in the description is a format dedicated to this rule the current rules that we are playing right now and it has a balanced format just to give you guys the head up uh it's the configuration is 43 cards per deck no oh, it's a deck oh yes of course duh it's a deck it's 2017 <laughs> Uh, three card extra deck with two ultra rares and three super rares, eight decks per display, per display, twelve displays per case, and ninety six tucks per master display. I'm assuming. So, um, like I said, 2017, uh, July 21st is when Yu-Gi-Oh will end uh, as we know it. Not saying Yu-Gi-Oh is over, but it will end as we know it, and it introduces the new link mechanic, which we can always assume all of the new master rules will go into effect. Uh, now we're going to click on Duelist Saga, and I know this is a pretty long video, but you guys wanted me to give you all this information, and, um, you know, I got to give you guys all this information. Uh, Duelist Saga, oh, it is TV advertised, man, the Cali Effect, you're, you're fucking OG. Uh, an Easter item, like, an Easter item like never before, spanning all five series with everything from hero cards to frightfers and dark lord cards a whopping 100 card set with 40 brand new cards this set sounds terrible off the hand anytime we get a 100 card set we're gonna get a really good card that's in the set that's extremely hard to pull okay maybe nobody understands what i'm saying but i'm saying it for you guys uh new cards used by maya and bakura in the original series sacred beast from Yu-Gi-Oh gx Yu -Gi -Oh's, you say secret rare ace monster from Yu-Gi-Oh 5ds Don Thousands from Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel, Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Dual Tainer style. See, this is probably why they're like resetting the game because they're making like these super ultra mega calistalgic broken monsters. But the thing is, if you don't have to reset the game, you don't make these super ultra mega stalic super monsters, okay? Just don't do it. All right. Um, eight different foil designs with Yugi front and center. Each pack contains two new cards and three reprints. Uh, it's $14.99 per tuck box. Five card, five cards per box with all new rarity. Three packs per box. Eight boxes per display. Six displays per case. So this is like gold series. All right. That's going to... That's not going to be fun. Because uh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some super broken cards in here that we're going to need. And yes, I guess TV does mean TV advertise. Kamani stepped their money up and they want to advertise cards to the little kids. Um, that is it for this thing. Now to get you guys even more information because that's all you guys keep bothering me about or that's all you guys look at. Mysterious official Twitter text uh, is the flavor text of Megalomasher. A shrine mater who offers with queen prayers to the celestial deity of a planet. The staff was attained as the right as a ritual tool handed down through the generations used to guard the people from the forest, from the rule of the me mechanical knights by converting energy into barriers. Though she hides a mystical power within herself, linking, linking her to the forest guardian dragon, she is usually a kind girl who treasures her childhood friend as older brother figure. All right. Means... Kakai Kishi means literally machine world knights, but it could be taken as either world machines or possibly digital. The play on words is Kai in Kikai machine has been replaced with Kai meaning world. Uh, Saishin means literally star deity, but the rest lore vaguely sounds like the nod to dual terminal world where she were blank often means the planet of DT setting. So, Another DT world, possibly? I don't understand. We'll probably find out in the future. 
Thank you so much for watching this quick recap on all things OCG and things to come into TCG, all the product releases and everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please, please, please give it a like and watch my other videos if you guys like it. If you guys have any problems whatsoever, please also, uh, with my videos, please also place them down below in the comment section. Please like, comment, subscribe, but most of all, enjoy.